Welcome to the beer garden where the air is crunchy with pollen as the pollening has begun. And if you like beer, do me a favor and tap that subscribe button down below. Let's get it on. Up this round is Red Stripe Lager brewed and bottled in Jamaica, 4.7%. And is it just me or is the Red Stripe bottle getting skinnier? It is one of these 11.2 ounce bottles. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, these things used to be a full 12 ounce bottles. This, this just doesn't feel quite right. I don't know, somebody comment down below and check up on that for me. And there was also a brief time where Red Stripe was brewed in uh, the US or Canada. I wanna say they brewed it in Old Latrobe, it was awful. Then I guess they realized they screwed up and they started importing it from Jamaica once again. Coming up in just a couple of minutes, I'm gonna rate Red Stripe out of five stars, five being a very good brew. I'm not sure if this would fall into the cheap brew category, but I did get a six pack for $7.99. All right, let's pop the top and see what we got. Eh. A rather laid back man type of opening, not terribly enthusiastic. And if you've been watching this channel, you know about those two viewers who were just hating on me about drinking the cheap brews out of bottles and cans. Well, uh, your hate has inspired merch. Yes, here we go. The beer snobs cheap brew review pint glass. And before I pour, I must say Red Stripe is one of those island laid back type of beers where you're allowed to drink it out of the bottle. I put it Right there along with Corona, you're allowed to drink out of the bottle. Red Stripe, you're allowed to drink out of the bottle. And just by my own personal preference, I usually drink, pour my beers into a glass, but Red Stripe and Corona are just about the only two I'll ever drink straight out of the bottle. All right, let's pour this and see what we got. It has all of the visual characteristics of Miller Lite. All the stories I have about Red Stripe in Jamaica. The only time I ever got Red Stripe on tap was in Ocho Rios, Jamaica, and we found this little bar. Boy, we spent a week there that afternoon. And the first time I was in Jamaica, uh, we went into a bar and they immediately declared us Jamaicans. And they said, oh, Mr. Brady, I have a drink for you. And so they took a bottle of Red Stripe and then they dumped in some overproof rum and you're supposed to chug it. And due to that overproof rum, I thought my insides were gonna burn out. Luckily, the red stripe was there to extinguish it a little bit. All right, we've lost all sense of head. It's still a bit of effervescence in there. And once again, just sheer coincidence that I coordinated my outfit with the label. All right, it's time for the liquid to hit the lips, man. Time to get iry. This is not the taste that I remember. Since the COVID hit, I've been doing so many of these brew reviews. Have I ruined my taste buds? Well, nah. If you go back and watch some of the Irish brew reviews, some of those did taste pretty good. Nondescript, it's a lager. I said it looked like, kind of like a Miller. Kind of tastes like a Miller too. Not hoppy at all. Uh, I'm straining to taste any sense of malt. There's a little bit about mid-swallow. Uh, no real yeast to speak of. Pretty much a pretty Oh, and speaking of merch, getting a lot of people wanting the Leather Patch Brew Review cap. Very nice, very bougie, yes. Just not a whole lot there. And at 4.7% alcohol, if you're in Jamaica drinking this stuff, you're gonna sweat it out faster than you can drink it. Case in point, I think that's why they did one of those uh, overproof rum shots in a red stripe. And I think they're onto something, and I think I'm gonna have to call on Bromwell. I've only done this to date one other time for a beer. I've called on my Jacob Bromwell, who is not hosting overproof Jamaican rum, but is hosting a 100 proof Kentucky bourbon. Thank you. Mr. Bromwell, let's add the 100 proof Kentucky bourbon. Not a whole lot more than a shot in Bromwell there. It's late in the day. This ought to take care of that 4.7%. Thank you, Bromwell. Irie. Oh, that's an unusual odor. I mean, smell, I mean, aroma. Kind of tastes like fried chicken. A definite improvement. And who's never said adding a hundred proof bourbon to anything is a bad thing. I don't remember the name of that bar in Ocho Rios that we were just drinking. The, the taps were just pouring. It was so cold and it was so good we almost missed our ship. 
And then there was one other time in Jamaica where my brother-in-law and I were looking for something to eat and we're walking around and we see this sign for uh, jerk chicken, a little, little sign pointing up the steps. So we went up the steps of this building and uh, the steps went around and then up again and then around and up again. And uh, we wound up on the rooftop of somebody's house and there was this guy up there who had a small charcoal grill grilling jerk chicken. He had a boom box playing a Bob Marley tape and he had like a Coleman cooler full of bottles of Red Stripe. Jerk chicken and Red Stripe, $3. I'm always a little skeptical about eating grilled chicken on someone's roof in Jamaica, but luckily we passed the 20 minute window and didn't have food poisoning. All right, enough of the Jamaican Caribbean reminiscing. Where do I rate Jamaica's Red Stripe lager on a scale of one to five, five being an excellent brew? Well, again, for only the second time to date, I've had to call on Bromwell to kick it up a notch. It's uh, very underwhelming, but not bad, but just like, eh. So out of five stars, I'm going to give Red Stripe 2.142 stars out of five. Hey, if you made it this far in this video, please click that subscribe button down below. We're trying to get to a thousand followers as fast as we can so more people can enjoy this. And if you have some uh, questions, comments, requests perhaps of beers uh, you would like me to try, please absolutely comment down below if you have some uh, stories of Red Stripe on your own. Absolutely, please tell me down below. I'd love to read them. In the meantime, check out some of my other brew reviews here. And before you watch another one of my brew review videos, hey, grab yourself a beer and you drink that beer. Irie man. Thank you, Bromwell.